Hey everyone, I'm just back to do a quick plan with me this morning, just to lay out the day. Um, should be quick, and then I've got some fun new ideas that I want to uh, try and film before I have to work this afternoon. Um, I don't have time to take my kids to the pool, so we're just going to be getting stuff done around here. My parents will come watch them this afternoon, but this morning I'm just... I am getting laundry done. I want to get laundry. I want to get um, clothes and towels, basically. Clothes and towels. Days that I work are kind of a catch-up day for me, sort of housework-wise, because um, a lot of times we're doing other stuff during the week, so <clears throat> that's the, what that is. Tomorrow is supposed to be rainy, so I don't know what we are going to do tomorrow if we can't go to the pool, because they'll lose their minds. Um, let's see, today I had a shake. For breakfast. I am rethinking highly this keto thing because it's just really hard when your whole family isn't doing that lifestyle. So I might just change that to like eating clean. Maybe not specifically keto, but I'll fill out my habit tracker for today. Try and get you guys so you can see. I love this summer washi. It's the so cute. Okay, did all my morning chores. You know, that's the biggest thing. I I would really say that getting stuff done around the house, like right when I get up, just to make things feel in order, really helps me f start the day out a little bit right because I just don't feel like so scattered. So I take care of the pets, I sweep the floor, um, get a little laundry in if I'm going to do that. Um, you know, stuff like that. Not hard stuff, but stuff that you might just wait until later in the day to do. It really gets the day off on the right foot, I feel like. Um, so if you're struggling in the mornings, um, try doing a couple of those things. And even maybe like lighting a candle or um, like I turn on the Scentsy thing in my bathroom and um, in the corner of my family room just and it smells you know kind of like clean laundry it just makes me feel like makes me feel like my shit is together when things are sort of picked up and it smells nice <laughs> so it's a good illusion it's a crafty illusion uh so there's my habit tracker got those things done um did not eat keto yesterday and i don't know if i will today you know the thing that has always um worked for me and my son or not my son my husband sort of eats in this fashion is like intermittent fasting um where you he eats healthy anyway he's a very athletic but um you just eat in a particular time window. You don't compress, you don't reduce your calories or anything like that. It's just eating in specific um, set hours of the day and then making sure that you're fasting in the other hours of the day so that your body is resetting. It has time to break down the junky cells and renew and use up what you've consumed. Um, I've read a few books on it actually and it is a, a really healthy way to eat as long as you're not reducing your calories um, because if you're only eating one meal and that meal is only 800 calories then you it may be a big meal for you maybe <laughs> for me it probably wouldn't be but uh, you still need to eat enough calories 800 calories is not enough calories for a day so um, that's a good a good thing to do um, and I might set up a tracker for that um, why, the reason that I stopped doing it earlier, um, I was doing it and it was working for me. Like I felt um, fitter and I felt good with it, but I realized that I was still eating unhealthily. Like I lost probably about five pounds doing it, maybe 10. Um, I'm a pretty slender person to begin with. I mean, I'm pretty tall, I'm five nine, so. Um, I, I distribute my weight pretty evenly. Um, 
so weight loss isn't really the thing, but I was still eating, it was around Easter time, I was still eating a lot of candy and stuff like that, so I wasn't being healthy, although I was losing weight. So that's why I wanted to try keto, because I'm really concerned about my propensity for type 2 diabetes. So that is something that I do want to tackle a little bit. Um, so I might set up a tracker for that. Um, I did not do my miracle morning this morning because um, I worked last night and um, you know I work second shift so I work th 3 to 11. Last night I got home at midnight so and I have to work again tonight so when I have to work I usually try and sleep in in the morning so that I'm not um, beat at work so that's kind of what that is. Um, but I did enjoy my bike ride, so if it's not raining tomorrow morning, I'm planning on going again. And then tomorrow, um, when my kids are in school, I usually go have coffee with my parents. So I'm thinking that maybe we will go um, and have coffee with them and my kids will come. Usually, you know, during the school year, it's just me and we read the paper and chit chat and stuff. Um, but tomorrow, they'll obviously be along with me. But my parents love that anyway. They're coming over to watch them tonight. So, um, let's see. Last night, my son did have karate, and I did not note that down. I forgot that my husband had to do that with them. My husband does karate with Henry. So, they both take the class, and then Addie just packs a little backpack with her like some books and a doll and stuff and she plays on the side while they are doing their class. So no miracle morning this morning, hoping to get into it the rest of the week. That's really my goal. Um, I don't have anything on the docket for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday yet. Um, I'm off work until this next week. Sunday I am, I need to plan. So I will put that in there and then Possibly we will go to church. Let's see. Plan to plan. We'll put that in here. Oop, that's crooked. Planner time. Hammer time. Planner time. Well, that was not anywhere near hammer. Plan to plan. Planner time. I was also thinking about doing a um, a little tutorial on my janky hand lettering. <laughs> if anyone wants to see it, like just a faking of of hand lettering. Um, where you just kind of make some swoopy letters and then thicken up the downstrokes. It's quick. It, to me, looks pretty. Um, to people that can actually do it, it's probably, you know, it's it's a shortcut. It's a cheat. But um, I see. I didn't I didn't space out my M enough to be able to really thicken it up. And that's the trick you have to learn when you're cheating it is to leave yourself enough space in between those kind of letters that you can thicken up stuff like that. But I might go over that in my tutorial. All right, so I did, let's see, did that. Um, nothing to add to this. I did find out about something that's going on on the 23rd, but I don't know. That day is going to be so busy with my daughter's birthday party. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to that. It's the NICU family reunion. Um, families of the past host a reunion um, and so all of our babies come that we have taken care of in the past and the nurses come and the neonatologists come and we have like a barbecue and it's just a big celebration of life because uh, we deal with a lot of death but we also deal with a lot of miraculous life and so we celebrate that on that day and I'm hoping that I can figure out a way to go. I think it's earlier in the afternoon I might just have to have my husband pick up my daughter's birthday cake. So on that note 
Um, I will leave you with the quote that I lettered yesterday. Um, falling down is an accident. Staying down is a choice. Have a great day. I will see you later, hopefully with some more spreads I've been thinking about and some more fun stuff. Thanks.